This is a case of laparoscopic assisted PCNN where a stone is located in ectopic left pelvic kidney. This is IVP. This is CT angiography where three arterial supply was found to this kidney. And this is laparoscopy is being done. The first aim is to remove the gut overlying the kidney. So we are removing large gut as well as a small gut from the bulge of the kidney which is placed ectopically. Now the next step is stone location identification under fluoroscopy. This is how stone is located so that we can proceed further by removing the overlying peritoneum zirota fossa and fat. You can use harmonic bipolar monopolar to remove this overlying peritoneum fat and fossa. The idea is to identify any vessels that is present in this area of puncture and dilatation so that injury to vessels can be prevented. This is how a bed is made. Now again confirm the location of a stone where it is under fluoroscopy. Now the next step is retrograde pilograph. After injecting dye from lower uretric catheter, we plan puncture. Puncture is being done under both fluoroscopy as well as laparoscopic guidance. You can puncture pelvis or calyx depending upon the stone position. Now confirmation is done after seeing the free flow of fluid. Now zebra guide wire is being used because it is a stiff or uh, stiffer guide wire so that it can give a stability to the system. Confirm position then dilatation of the track is being done. After removing this needle, alkene initial puncture needle is passed again confirm the position. Now dilatation is being done using serial alkene dilator sets. And plus of 22 French is being used in this case. Both fluoroscopy as well as laparoscopic guidance is very important in this type of cases. This is the picture after placing the ampla sheath. Now next step is to find the stone and to fragment it and then remove it. I am going to use lithotripsy here because it is very fast for the large stone. This is how stone is being treated and being removed. After final confirmation of full clearance, we remove the M plus sheath. This is how the wound looks like after removal of M plus sheath. Now we have to stitch it because it may cause leak in the peritoneal cavity. So stitching this wound is important. I am stitching with the help of 3-0 Vicryl Suture. And single stitch is enough for these type of cases. After stitching, you can cover this area with momentum also. But as you know, within 24 to 48 hours, momentum is going to seal this area. So 
you can leave it like this you can see the full closure and uh, watertight closure is being done for the nephrostomy or paleostomy after giving a stitch clear the abdomen remove the uh, blood or urine that is present in the peritoneal cavity the next step after the toileting is to place a drain now drain is placed in the pelvis then this is the complete clearance and the fluoroscopy DJ stent is being placed then post operative dressing for more surgery thank you very much